Okay guys, today we're going to draw pairs using three different mediums. Enjoy! Begin with graphite. We start with a basic outline of the pairs, which is the easiest part. Then we want to show the overlap of form in these points. Emphasizing these points gives form and volume to the pair and takes away the flatness. Good, now that we're done with that, we're going to add a light source and shadows to show that the pairs are not floating in space. I draw the shadows of the pair with a 4B pencil, and I want to make the shadows go to the bottom left. Then I continue drawing the drop shadow. Now I will use my 6B pencil to show the difference between the shadows and to make the pairs pop out more. Some final details and we're all done here. Now let's continue with charcoal. Now with charcoal, I begin with a 2B pencil outlining the pair and showing the emphasis on form like we did in the other drawing. I continue with a squiggly stem and then I decide to make the shadows on the left side and our light source will be directly on the right side. I begin doing this with a 2B pencil. Now that I got the light shadows done, I will use a compressed charcoal to darken them. Then I will use a 4B charcoal pencil to help it blend throughout the pair. I continue with a kneaded eraser to show some highlights of the pair. Good, finally I will use my white charcoal pencil. I start by putting the white outline of the pair on the right side, then continue to shade in the whiteness on to the left side and other places that need white. This helps to show the pairs being hit by light on the right side and also gives it a sense of three dimensions. Finally, I do some touch-ups with a 2B pencil and we continue with the next one. So now we begin with one of my favorite mediums and that is watercolors. I'm using Sakura Hoi watercolors. They're a really good brand and I recommend them. I start with how I did in the first drawing and make the outline of the pairs first. Now I emphasize the overlap of form. As you can see, one pair is overlapping the other one, so I have to emphasize those points as well. Good, now that I have that done, I will begin with a light coat of watercolors. So I start with a peachy color, a really light peachy color, and I continue with a really light green color. Now I use a darker green to show some shadow, and I water it down to spread out the colors. And I do the same thing with this pair. This is coming out pretty good. I like watercolors. I try to get the stem's color, which is sort of red and brown. Now I use a mix of ultramarine blue and gray for the shadows of the pair. I continue with the same mix for the drop shadows of the pair. I do some final touches with the ultramarine blue and gray mix, and now I will continue by painting the pair a reddish color. Now I flick my brush to spray red dots on the pair which they usually have naturally. Finally I mix some yellows to create this background. You don't have to add a background, but I like how it looks. Finally it is finished, thanks for sticking with me till the end. And if you like this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to keep yourself updated with the next videos. And yeah, thanks again and bye.